Hello boxing fans, I've had a good day today so I'm in a bit of a playful mood. This one is Derek Chisora versus Robert Hellenius. Starting with the favourite you might say. Robert Hellenius we all know is six foot six and a half, he's got a 79 inch reach. He's known as the Nordic Nightmare. He has a 68% knockout percentage but he's got a real hard punch. When he smells wood he really goes for it. He's got more of his KOs in his last few fights because the people are actually trying to win against him and they're leaving gaps and he's really taken over you might say. Um, he's, he looked really good against Peter. He didn't look so good in his last fight in my opinion. But Serhai Lakovic, he did try and win and he ended up getting knocked out in the ninth. But it was overall good performance. I didn't think it was a great performance. I think it was a good. It was not bad. It wasn't great. And this one's against Derek Chisora, who we all know from losing to Tyson Fury. And if you know British boxing, you'll have heard of him anyway, because he won the British title and the Commonwealth title. Um, I think he was always only holding that till either D David Price or, or Fury came along. I've never been a huge fan of Chisora. Or Del Boy, you fucking muppy. Don't like Derek Chisora. I think I like that accent, though. Um, moving on to Chisora, we do know he's, he's coming back off his loss. He had one fight against some guy who I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce because I can't. And he won that fight on points. Now he said that was a sparring session afterwards and I agree. He only looked like he was trying to get some rounds under his belt. And he looked in slightly better shape than he did for his last fight which is a positive and he did have quite fast hands compared to his last fight. Now as long as he gets into a slightly better shape for this fight then I think he's got a fighting chance. I don't think he's got a great chance, I think he's got a fighting chance. Uh, this is for the EBU title, like I said, so there's a lot at stake. Um, it's in the fight's in um, Finland, so it's not it's not a, like an impossibility for Chisora to win. He's just got to land his shots. Now, Chisora does hit quite hard, I, I think, anyway. He's, um... What he does is he throws these hooks and the uh, these unorthodox hooks and he's got really quick hands so by the time you see them they're connecting and he doesn't just throw one, he throws like three or four. Now it's like when he smells blood, when he when someone unloads he somehow takes the punches, he's got a good chin, which I didn't give him credit for in his last fight. He takes he takes a few punches, then all of a sudden he starts land throwing and landing these huge shots. And he, even it was given like Tyson Fury who we know has got an absolute solid chin. It was giving him trouble, and this is another thing that I do know. We do know that uh, Tyson Fury did have a sparring session with Roberto, and apparently it's um, an urban myth that's widely accepted that Robert Hellenius got absolutely taken to town. He got wiped the floor with apparently. So I'm actually wondering how he will do against like Chisora in the fact that Chisora. In the two rounds that I gave Chisora in that fight, Chisora did win them by a country mile. Now, if if Chisora is in good shape and really goes to this, I think he has a very good chance because he's like coming off Tyson Fury. This is a that was a, that's like a good it's a um, preparation we'll go with yeah, but that's a good preparation for Robert Hel Hellenius because they're both similar. They both plod. I mean, Robert Hel Hel Hellenius. He's not quick. He doesn't fight at range like he should do. He likes to get in there. He likes to trade as well. They they're really similar. The only difference is Robert's got a slightly better physique. I would say I wouldn't. I wouldn't even call. I wouldn't call either of their power um, outstanding. I'd say it's really good. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was like Vladimir Klitschko or Vitaly Klitschko. Brilliant. But I think. I think Chisora's got a fighting chance, so I'm going to get, get straight into the prediction now. I think that Robert Hellenius will stop Chisora. I think he's going to up his game just on the fact that Hellenius is in in better shape. I think he's going to smell blood at some point when Chisora eventually will slow down. I mean, in, if you look at Chisora, all of his fights at points, he's always looked a bit, how can I say this, shit. He's always looked a bit bad. Um, against Sam Sexton he couldn't get past the jab for like six or seven rounds until the stoppage and against Fury he, he lost all but two rounds on my card and he was absolutely diabolical um, so yeah I think that Chisora will get stopped late when he starts gassing out 
um, or it could go to it could go to scorecard. I think if it goes to scorecard, it's more of a um, moral victory for Chisora, you might say. But either way, a loss on his career won't look great. And, and I've never thought that Chisora get past the British level. And if he does, I might be able to prove me wrong. But I think Robert's got a bit too much for him today. Tell me what you think, guys.